In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for BF4 minus. This is the tetrafluoroborate ion. So the first thing we need to do to find the molecular geometry, we need a valid Lewis structure. And this is our Lewis structure for BF4 minus. You'll note we have these brackets to show that it's an ion. This negative one just means we have an extra valence electron. And that's accounted for within the structure here. So first we look at steric number. How many things are attached to the central boron atom? We have one two, three, four things. Our steric number is four. And we don't have any lone pairs on the central atom. All of the electrons, they're involved in chemical bonds here. These are chemical bonds. So we have zero lone pairs. So we go down and we find that BF4 minus has a molecular geometry of tetrahedral. And these bond angles here should be 109.5. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So the central atom, that's our boron. Let's add four fluorine atoms. One, two, three three, you see how they're spreading out, four, and when they spread out, we end up with this tetrahedral molecular geometry. If we looked at the bond angles, they would be 109.5 degrees. If we wanted to talk about the electron geometry, since there are no lone pairs on the central atom, it's also tetrahedral. Back to our Lewis structure, if you use the AXE notation to find molecular geometry, A is the central atom, that's the boron, X, that's the number of atoms attached to the boron. We have four fluorine atoms. And E, that's the number of lone pairs on that boron. There aren't any. So E is zero. And often you just leave E off and say AX4. You look that up and the molecular geometry for BF4 minus is tetrahedral. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry, bond angles, and electron geometry for BF4 minus tetrafluoroborate ion. Thanks for watching.